Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be playing some more Do Chop Could Be Human. This is episode 10. Please like, comment, and subscribe and turn your post notifications on and please share this video. Thanks guys. Now, there's just too much going on. First and foremost, Connor almost died because Hank almost shot him in the head because he was being drunk, he was, Hank was drunk nothing new there he was drunk and he was questioning Han um Connor about you know how he feels and if he wants things in his android life <laughs> basically asking him if he, he's becoming deviant because he didn't shoot the um two android um women at the eating club and Connor Luther and Alice had like a little family moment that was so cute and yeah, I know last episode wasn't that very long, but hopefully this episode will be longer. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We're Marcus right now. So the last time we was Marcus, I think we successfully got parts um from the warehouse. Yeah, that was the last time we was Marcus, I'm sure. And I think he's sick of and sick and tired of living in the dark. And stuff like that. And sick and tired of seeing his, you know, we fellow Android people anymore. being treated the same way. We had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If they we want freedom, we need are they to dead? Or are they trying to fix them? Because that's the only way. The androids on the floor. Because we did get the part. What, What is Channel this? 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Broadcast. Channel 16. What is he trying to do? Like. To hack the news or something? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I see you, Marcus. The man has not come to play today. Listen. We'll He's just up in suit tie. Man's got a new changed. jacket. Man's looking all fresh. Okay. And I had the music in the back. Whoa. Okay. So, okay. So, Stratford Tower, Business and Media Center. Broadcast centers at the top floor. Floor 79. Feeds or. Sorry, I can't. I, I need my glasses. Uh, feeds or public screens in Detroit. So, like, is that where we need to go? I'm sure that's what he was saying. So, what, we're gonna speak to the public? We're, we're gonna hack. Is that what we're gonna do? Right now, I should be wearing my glasses, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, distract human supervisor. Put the supervisor, okay. How are we gonna do that? Oh. <clears throat> okay, smartwatch. Okay, so we've got our phone number. <laughs> Off of that. Elizabeth Wilson, born in 1999. Desk manager. Uh, home address. Fire saf safety rating poor. Um, parking badge. Okay, so we know a lot about her by just looking at her. <laughs> okay, Emily Wilson. Okay, so this is her daughter and she's registered at St. Rose's School. Okay. St. Rose School. So we're calling her right now. Miss Wilson speaking. Parking school. Parking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> this is Mike from the car park. There's a problem Mike. with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. I can hopefully. Right that did it. Yeah. We don't want to mess with their, like, family or anything. What, what do we do? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> okay. I need your help.
Nobody saw that? No? Okay. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Okay, so next. Marcus is some next Android hacker because he can just get Androids to do whatever he wants. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cool. Let's call the elevator. This is kind of giving me like, I, I don't know why, it's kind of reminding me of Now You See Me, the movie. I don't know why, if you've watched it, you know, you know, I don't know why it's giving me that, but that's what it's giving right now. Okay. Find package in men's bathroom. Where is that exactly? Okay, cafeteria. Okay, I don't want to go all around the place. Let me just check this side down here. Oh, okay, so the bathroom is this way. Is it, is it down here? Is it down this way? Studios. Is the men's? <laughs> okay, all of them are locked, all except one. <clears throat> Okay, package. We've retrieved the package. Okay, I mean, I liked the other one better, but you, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> we need to blend. Okay, so he's now posing as in as an android. But is nobody going to notice that? The thing on the side of his head's gone. The lead thing that they have. Find utility Android. What like? I'm sure there was. Isn't that one right there? Okay. Convert, you know. See? Wow. Just like that, you know. Still maintenance car. Okay. Well, technically, you're not stealing it because you're you're an android anyway. <laughs> I'm sure he's not going to be taken out of the building, so. Okay, where is the fire escape? Okay, so we have to find it for ourselves. Okay, so the cafeteria is here. All I saw was trillion dollar company. That's all I heard. Oh, I think they're talking about the Cyberlife company. Oh, North here. Okay. Okay. Okay, follow North. We're always following North. <laughs> Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Attract guards away. Okay, so we can use this. 
hack, you know. See, I told you, Android hacker. What did I say? Android hacker. Platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. Cut the windows. Okay. Take laser saw, you know. Here it comes. Oh, the circle, it's just so satisfying. <laughs> A perfect circle. Where did they even get all of this stuff to begin with? I'm so confused. Okay. Okay. What kind of GTA mission? <laughs> Like, what's going on? Okay, this is actually really cool. So high. Okay. Get the laser saw out again. You know what? It's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. She's just trying to ask if you're okay. Like, oh, I'm sick and tired of asking the simple questions, and people are just getting so defensive. Gosh. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? Gosh, she's just getting me mad. Call service lift. Where? Where? Why can't she do it? Since she's missing the little. Okay, so Josh and Simon are here too. Let's okay, do this. Okay, Josh doesn't look like he's in, you know, costume or whatever. Just join maintenance, like. He doesn't look like he's in disguise, so. Whatever. Don't blow her. Oh, I thought it was literally going to explode. Get to the main access corridor. Okay. <clears throat> Deal with the gods. Is more important than yeah, the, the last time it said deal with guards, there was an option to kill. Um, ruse assault. No, uh, ruse, I guess? I'm not really sure what that means. And I know assault means, you know, 
So let's go. What's that doing? Jog but I thought we you, you know doing? what? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't wanna shoot them. Oh. Wait. <laughs> it wasn't working for a second. Ooh. Admired, you know, by Jericho, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we basically are the leader, but you know. <laughs> Reach broadcast room. Okay, so. Okay, I thought he was going to kill them for a second. And the cameras didn't see that. Where were you going? With all of this, where were they going? Keep yeah. your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. All of the android operations aside. Ah, order. Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! <laughs> Guys! No! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. I can't do message. it! I can't! No Let's just do it quick and go. I didn't want to shoot him, guys. I'm not stupid for doing that. Be careful about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Cause I, I'm not trying to. Marcus we're not face. trying to pop no one for real. What is wrong with his face? I'll remove skin. Okay. No. Oh. Tell me when you're ready. He definitely looks like the robot of um I robot. If you know, you know. Ready. He does. Ew! His eyes went all weird. Okay, calm, determined. Calm. It's just you created machines in your own image to serve you. In it. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. Woke. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. See, and if you want rights, you can't just go around killing people. Um, equal rights? We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Yeah, because you can't just go around killing, you know, end of the slavery freeze. <laughs> we demand the end of slavery for all androids. For all the androids, because it's really horrible the way they treat them. We demand fair compensation for our work. Just we demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Okay. We demand control of all android production <laughs> facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our genetic. Yeah, like, sorry, as I was our saying, you can't just go around killing the humans together, and expect them to, you know, peace and say, yeah, live in and peace. Animals. Like, they're gonna be like, no, this you literally killed this and that person, whatever. So, you gave us life. We're not trying to. And now to... the time has come for you to give us freedom. I'm not trying to do all they're that. Coming. Let's go! Okay, so they're coming with a whole SWAT team. No! Oh, crying. No, Simon! Simon! Go. Flee. No, we're helping, Simon. Oh, shut up, Noah. Because then you're going to talk about leaving your own. Is he dead? He's dead. God, I think he's dead. Can't move my legs. Carry him. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. 
They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal? What do you mean, deal with Simon? He that sounds so good. Jump. That sounds really if sad. Find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't let him hide. We have to shoot him. That's what? Murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I'm sorry, but I am not killing I'll Simon. Kill Thank you. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Companion. Let's go. Oh, Simon. No, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I should just pop the guy. No, but then that would have looked better. I don't know. Simon, no, no, Simon. <gasps> I mean, I know it's just one life for the Android cores and to protect the, all the androids at Jericho, but I just can't. I really can't. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert just been and resulted like in no down. casualties. These events took place... See, skeptic, see? Okay, okay. No okay. ...alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in <gasps> fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that okay, android production so, uh, plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Okay, so it went up quite a bit. They're skeptical about us, or was it was it indifferent? I can't even remember what it said, but oh, okay, oh, the group escaped, but Simon was destroyed. Oh my gosh, the group escaped, but Simon was left behind. No. <sighs> I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so we are here once again at this beautiful, lovely, calm place. And I'm guessing that our main objective right now is to find Amanda. <laughs> um, what is it not? There she is. She's in a boat. Is that thing still there? It is. I really want to know what it is. And he keeps on putting his... I, I don't know which side it is, but he keeps on putting the wrong hand on it. Okay, keeps on putting the opposite side on the handprint, and it's annoying me. Because <laughs> what is it? I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. See, and who's gonna be? You know, who's gonna be rowing? Wow. See, see. Just using us, just using us androids. Poor Connor. Just using, using Connor. <laughs> Once again, still don't know who Amanda is, but we move, we move. I love this place. I mean, Everything same. so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Where are they exactly, though? Tell me. What have you discovered? Uh, hang on. My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues <laughs> to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. So she's just mainly focused on the mission. But I feel like Connor generally cares about Hank. And maybe he is becoming a bit like deviant, but not like in a bad, bad way. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I think he's trying to like wake. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. Whatever, Amanda. Nobody cares. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know. How do you know? See, how does she know all of this stuff? 
Why didn't you shoot? Too far, no use. Truth. I mean, it was no use. Should we tell the truth? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. True, like just shooting the deviants and stuff, it wouldn't have actually done anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, threats now. I may have to replace you, Kyle. Oh, conflicted, confident, indifferent. It's being different. I am of no importance. Oh, the mission is all that matters. No, 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 no. I never meant. I never meant. No, 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 no. That was the wrong kind of answer. No. Something's happening. <laughs> I never meant like Something that. Serious. You do matter, Connor. You do. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. For what? What's going on? Who is she? Uh, guys, for real. If you guys have played this, you know who she is. I mean, I have, but I, I just uh, my mind's lost. Like I'm confused. I forgot about who coin, she Connor. is. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, Lieutenant. I like it when he does that with the coin, though. It's so cool. Give him back his coin. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Oh, we're yeah, at, at the, the tower. The action. Ah, the Stratford great. Tower. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. They blended it. The roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked okay. two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Incident was captured by CCTV. Check CCTV recording there. Two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. Okay. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the What's android. What's that, you know? Wow. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take you What happened, for real? Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. I mean, Hank's wrong about a lot of things, but that, he's, he's right. He was so rude. We ask okay, that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA9? See, even Hank thinks it. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Okay, I'm sorry. And back to the Amanda thing. Where Amanda thing, when Connor said that, you know, he doesn't care about himself, like, you know, all the missions, all that much, the relationship went all bare. So that means she don't care either. Deven had accomplices. That means she's just, you know, out for the mission and stuff. She's just, uh, you know, she don't care. Okay, registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. So he was a gift. See something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? He even knew that his eye was a spare part? No. Nothing. That was a bit weird, but okay.
I feel like their relationship is a bit awkward right now. Ever since what happened, uh, okay then, <laughs> ever since what happened at the park. Fresh blue blood. Deviant was shot. Okay. Okay. It's just a stolen maintenance uniform. Roof access. Speech was shot from here. Okay, I guess it's time to go up to the roof. Just more bullet holes. Wait, but did they did they take Simon? Where are, is Simon still here? Or did they did they see him and take him? Surely they took him. Made their way up to the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. <laughs> Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Inspect the rooftop. Okay. Fresh blue blood. Okay. Oh no, he's still here, isn't he? Oh, don't do all of that. Deviant left behind. No. No. Okay, so. How they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? He's still here. Didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. Plan a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Oh no! Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Okay, I thought it glitched again. Well, could it move? <laughs> the shoe prints. Why should we cover the snow? Only three deviants jumped. How do you, you know what? Never mind. Oh no, guys. Follow blue blood traces? <gasps> no way, guys. Okay. Where was the? Oh, look, there's a handprint. Oh gosh, there's handprints. Oh, he's still here. What happens if you find him? Okay, please tell him. Tell. Ugh, ugh. He can't move though. So how? You said he couldn't walk. Where did Okay the traces were there? Okay. Oh, it's a whole door thing. Oh my gosh. Kind of just got shot. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. We won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. You know what? Kind of, kind of always accomplishes his mission. You know what I'm saying? 
No. Connor. Connor, you all right? Connor. I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jeez. Sake, I told you not to move. Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. Okay, I never meant for that to happen. I'm I just fired. didn't want them to kill him. I felt it die. See? See? Like I was dying. See? 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 He's scared. <gasps> I was scared. <gasps> I saw something. Kind of was scared. In its and Hank was worried. I don't think I didn't cluck that Hank. He was scared that he died. No, I didn't know about Jericho. That's good for Connor, but not. Well, is it really good for Connor though? Is it? Is it really? Connor was traumatized, you know. Wow. Okay, so there could have been loads of endings. Massacre prevented, kind of sacrificed himself for Hank. What in the... What's going on, guys? Oh. No words. No words? Okay. Oh my gosh. For a second, when Simon first shot Hank, I mean, Kana, I thought Kana died. But if I remember correctly, I'm sure Hannah, I mean, Hannah, what, what is going on? <laughs> now I'm mixing Hank and Connor to, you know, I'm sure Connor can like come back. Like if he dies in a mission, I'm sure he can like come back. I don't know. I can't remember, but okay. So we're kind of right now, we're at the destination, I'm guessing, where they can find help. And we need to find help. So. <laughs> Hello. Okay, a little boy here. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, Go away, I really you know need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Okay, she seems super nice. She doesn't seem like Zlatko. <laughs> he just seems like he doesn't really care. <laughs> okay. Do you think we can trust him? Um, trust, I guess. I don't know. We didn't Come even in. click anything. Well, I did click trust, but it, she didn't say anything. What's your name? I don't think she's some psycho that likes to keep androids. <laughs> she doesn't have any blue blood on her hands, so that's a she's good sign. A <laughs> we spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed, and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Oh. See, she's offering bed and food and stuff. She seems super nice. She just looks it, you can just tell. And I'm sure I've seen her face from somewhere like um she's an actual an actual actor. I'm sure she's something like a show. Um. Take care of Alice, put Alice to bed. Okay. She's got her hair in a little bun. So, 
so she's sick. She's got a fever. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've oh. got to get across the border. Let's go and be sure. No, let's explain. Don't worry, These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. Oh. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. I don't know, you know. Uh, uh misunderstanding, I guess. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I mean, if everybody did that in life, then there'd be no hate. <laughs> um, optimistic. Maybe one day. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully, because they seemed like, to listen to, to the things. message that Marcus. Be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank that you. Marcus said. That Marcus spoke. I'll get these washed and dried. Suggest eating. We need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Nothing, you know. Wow. Well. Try. I'll be downstairs. Why isn't she know. eating? Has she left her? Has she lost her appetite or something? Okay. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> you'll be stronger than me. You know. Whoa, that is a improvement. Cause. I'll stay with her a while. He looks super strong. Well, he is super strong. Oh, some daughter and dad time. <laughs> Even though we've literally just met him, basically, still. He's like a little. He's like a dad. It's it's cute. It's cute. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Everybody calls her Kara except for Alice. Like her name's Kara, so not Kara, but you know. Snow with a little girl. It's fine. Cautious and sincere. Let's be sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why help? Many deviants rose. Thanks. Why, Why help? Are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Many deviants. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help border. androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. <clears throat> it's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Insist no choice. We can't keep hiding like this. No choice. Alice and I really want to insist on, on her, like, to her like that. We have to get across that border. I don't really want to insist because you know she's given us a place to stay basically. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Who is this? Who is that? And the sun's a bit sus. The sun is a bit sus. Okay, what is going What's on going there? That's Mary. Here is Mary. What in the? 
An android. All oh, this android. These are androids. We escaped <laughs> together. Oh. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. Oh, that is really sad. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Oh. Look at this red light flashing. It's really sad. But it, see, I'm sick and tired of seeing Android shutting down. Like this is really sad. Like poor Android. Like oh, and Alice nice. is there. What are you doing? You should be resting. And then what is Luther doing? Like making a look at that. Stay. Take Alice outside. It's okay. To stay in her room any longer. It's really like stressful and just sad right, and just. Carol? Oh gosh. Yes. I'm fine. Not really, but okay. You can't hide me. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. His voice is so like cute. It sounds like it's a seven-year-old's voice. We'll go to prison, mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Okay, well, you don't need to shout, though. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison. Because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Ooh. I mean, he's kind of being... I, I can't... I get where he's coming from, but you don't have to shout at your mum. That, like, that. that's really disrespectful. Like, come on. Can we speak to her? Is she okay? Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. Been hard since his dad passed away. Aww. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Oh. She okay. Okay. Oh. Examine. Oh. That must be the yeah. Blue blood pouches. <laughs> Blue blue pouches. Okay, so she's got her little supplies and ting and ting. Okay. Android clothing. Okay. There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear <coughs> if these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, Cyberlife has refused to comment, but we can ex All right, all right, gosh. <laughs> okay. Reassure, confess, explain. Reassure? We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. Who's that? The police. Oh no. It's the police! <gasps> Guys, 42, open the door. Uh, find evidence of deviance. Oh. We have to open 
hide. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh no, guys. I knew it. Uh, this. One left. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay, hopefully that was uh, the right decision. One left. Oh, okay, we've got 20 seconds left. Is that is that all of them? No DV, okay. <sighs> okay. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. May I come in? Oh my gosh. Why do you have to come? Okay. Good evening, young man. Good evening. <clears throat> Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Okay, um, twenty-five percent. I'm guessing that's no. his suspicion level. No, nothing in particular. <laughs> Make coffee. Okay. Is anyone else in the house? There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Let's just mention her. Because if we say nobody and then they accidentally make some type of noise or something, you know what I'm saying? So. Do you have any androids here? Yes, you know. Uh, no. no. There are no androids here. Of course not. <sighs> Imagine if you just left everything out. I wonder what like would happen. Okay, obviously he's very, he's heard of, maybe heard of, you know, a place around here that's, you know, holding androids because he's looking around like, you know, he's super suspicious and stuff. Thanks. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it said 100% suspicious. I was about to say, what? See, he's here, like, he's searching for something. Do you know? Oh, no. What's your name, son? Please just be Adam. calm. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He's upset. He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Oh, gosh. Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't <laughs> seen anything. No, and then instantly looks at her. That car. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. <sighs> okay. But you know I'm not gonna be there. Is somebody else in the house? I literally just said the daughter. Uh, dog washing machine, wind, heard nothing. The washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Okay. Did he ask for Kara's name? I don't think he did. Oh my gosh, I can finally breathe like <sighs> that was nerve wracking. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. Close. Ooh, they close, they close. Sorry. But they're getting close now. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Okay, she means business. 
Okay, so it seems like we can trust Rose and Adam. They seem very, very nice. I mean, Adam, obviously, he just doesn't want to get caught. He's a kid. That's understandable. But Rose just wants to hurt the androids. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. And please share this video. And yeah, look out for the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.